Greetings and salutations, you guys. Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I cannot get used to my hair. I just cut it again. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I kind of want to cut it a little bit more. I don't know, am I addicted to having short hair? I never thought I'd like having like short hair like I did when I like cut my hair like super duper short, but I don't know. I was trying to cut it last night because it was kind of growing uneven and then I just kept cutting and cutting and cutting and then here we are. But I don't know, maybe I'll just leave it for now. Anyway, happy, um, oh happy Thanksgiving if it's Thanksgiving already or if it's coming up um, when you guys watch this. I hope you had a fantastic day. It's Saturday. The week of Thanksgiving is this week, so it's coming up on Thursday. And we're gonna go thrifting today. We're having a live sale tonight. It's gonna be one of the last live sales before Thanksgiving, so I'm really excited to see what I could find for you guys. So I'm not gonna spend any more time talking. Let's go see what we can find. All right, friends, we just parked. There's some sort of activity that's happening here right now. Like, there's a bunch of people dressed up as anime characters. So, I don't know exactly know what it is, but I don't know why my cousin and brother and sister aren't here because they normally love these sorts of events. But they were just at one last week, so that's probably why. Anyway, we parked. We're gonna go over to Second Street. I actually went to Crossroads uh, right before this, but I didn't film because I just like ran out and ran back in. So I'll show you guys what I got. I just got three things. I got a Claire V bag. Mark Jacobs wallet and oh and a vintage coach but let's go see what we can find at second street all right second street all right guys so I didn't really film over there but we're at crossroads in Griffith Park let's go inside All right, nothing really in the bags. I kind of like this Valentino blouse. It's a large too. All right, we're at the next stop. This is another crossroads down the street. This one's on Sunset. I can't believe the sun's already going down. <sighs> My car's already gonna turn into a pumpkin. I'm gonna have to walk home. Now let's go inside. Okay, we got a Brahmin clutch like this. Little envelope clutch. Here's little Rebecca Minkoff. Kind of looks like a Valentino, right? All right, you guys, I don't think there's very many bags here today. So far, I just found that one clutch. And I think, oh, you have a box. Greetings and salutations, guys. It's nighttime. We're at the Goodwill. And we are in Santa, no, Costa Mesa. That's where we are. We're in Costa Mesa. Going inside the Goodwill. Let's go inside, check it out. All right, let's look at the baggy bags. See if there's anything for us to tie. <laughs> Lauren Connor, the style of this is actually pretty cute though. But this is a pleather baggy bag. This is interesting. It's like hard on the sides. Oh, what are these? Hold on. This one looks like it's leather, but it's. Hold on. This one's a Stephen by Stephen Madden bag. Oh, I think this one's probably. Oh, Rampage. Okay. Mm, we have a Kipling, but I think this one has too much wear, maybe. I'll leave that. This is one of those like wonder or something. Um, oh, this is a Star Wars lunch pail. This is I think this is probably Pottery Barn Kids. Pottery Barn Kids Star Wars lunch pail. These are always good to get. Like if you have kids, that always yeah. This is yep. Pottery Barn Kids Star Wars three dollars. That's actually not bad. These lunch boxes are pretty expensive, but I don't need any more. The boys they actually hit each app too just in case one of them even, like loses one. So they're good. For now at least, I mean. Oh, Aldo. Oh, I was like drawn to the tiny bag on a big bag that matches. That's cute. And we're pretty much to the end. 
pleather. No. All right, let's check out the rest of the store. Okay, let's take a look through the ties. I usually always check just to see if there's anything good. Um, I feel like ties is like one of the things that like get missed a lot. Oh, look at this. Dior. This is like vintage, but it's just like a plain stripe. But it's still a nice tie, right? Like, it's only five bucks. Like, that would match a lot of things, right? But there's also a stain on it. But you can clean that possibly. Or you can like turn this into something else. There's a John Farvados right there. Brooks Brothers makes nice ties also. Uh, there's another Brooks Brothers. I just, I actually have like a bunch of like different ties that I want to turn into like um, twillies. So once I get that situated, I'll let you guys know. I wonder if Zachary would like this hat. <laughs> it says out of office on it, so I don't know, maybe not. Okay, let's check out the home stuff. This is like one of my favorite sections. Yes, oh, excuse me. Jeweled skull, it's not jeweled, but studded skull. We've already done things. The kitchen there with tongs. Uh, another way done thing. Someone is really unhappy with being inside the store right now. Poor person. Oh, what is this? Trying to see if there's like a make on it, but I feel like it's just like a cool catch-all, right? It's like I can't believe I actually found one of these online, but someone selling them for 23 bucks. It's pretty cute, but I'll we'll probably just leave it. We'll see if we can find any other goodies. Oh, I do like a good container with a lid. is kind of pretty too. Gotta get this for Elizo. He's gonna love this. Geode. That's a pretty one too. Okay, I also found this really cool. Um, this is a CB2 vase. It's only $5.99. I think I'm gonna get this. It's really pretty. Hey guys, I just found these really cute little antho measuring cups that are like little teacups. Totally gonna get this. And I think this is for the whole set. Which is awesome. And then I think this might also be Anthro, but it's Rifle Paper Company. So I'm probably gonna get this $4.99 though. But it's really cute, it has little dogs. So I'm gonna get those. I really need a car. I just literally have everything. <laughs> I just like left things on shelves. Hopefully no one takes them. But I'm just gonna leave those there for a second while I keep looking around. Um, Am I gonna find any anthro plates? Like, that's the question. I would love to find some plates or bowls or something. You know? But, we'll see. At least I found the measuring cups, right? That's cool. Really, those are really cute. Uh, made in, these are a pretty color. These are made in Portugal. Mm. These are cute, but um, okay. Any other cups? It was kind of hard to look here because there was a bunch of people in here at the same time. Oh, these might be anthro. Um, the stuff on the bottom is taken off, so I don't know. I might search them to see if they are, but they look very similar. There are anthro ones that look just like that, but I found them before. Hard to follow. Threshold. Oh wait. Uh, I have a bunch of letter K's though, but this is anthro. I think I have to get this. I found a letter G, and I don't think I have it in my collection of letters. And if you are new here, I'm trying to collect all the letters from this set of anthropology mugs. They have a couple hydro flasks, but they're like dented. That pink one. This silver one is not the worst though, but you know. Oh, there's another pink one. Hey guys, what is up? We are back at the house and I'm really excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today because we got some really good stuff. So, 
we went to the Goodwill. I also went to Crossroads as well. Also, do not mind my pimple patches. The weather right now is drying out my skin so much. It's making me break out like crazy. And I feel like this is the only way that like really helps them is like for the pimple patches. So I apologize. They're just all over my face. Uh, but let's jump into what I got first from the Goodwill and then we'll make our way to what I got from, oh, we went to Crossroads and then I also went to Second Street, though I did not film in Crossroads or Second Street. They don't allow filming, so. Um, but I did like take stuff on my phone. Uh, so you can see that on Instagram. Uh, it's generally where I post that in my stories and stuff. I need to make like a separate like folder thing or whatever you call it on Instagram for uh, stuff that I post like thrifting out. Like, I don't know. Let me know if you guys want me to do that. I have, yeah, I'm really bad at doing that and stuff. So, um, but what I got. Okay, so I got this My Hero Academia backpack. Uh, it was $5.99. I got it because I was like, oh, like the boys love My Hero Academia. And then like, I asked my brother and he was like, mm, they're not really into My Hero Academia anymore. And I was like, oh, I already bought it. But um, maybe someone will like this. Uh, it's really cute though. Or I can like send it to one of my cousins or something. I think they'll like it. I, I like personally My Hero Academia. Probably won't use the bag though. <laughs> but $5.99. Okay, so I got that. Then up next. I got, okay, this one, I'm hoping this works, but it's a build a coding wand, uh, play with your tablet or computer, Harry Potter thing. I feel like this is something that could get Zachary very excited because he, like, loves Harry Potter, first of all. He, like, read all the books voraciously. He's obsessed. He has been, um, like, a Harry Potter, like, student for Halloween for like the past like how many years and he's obsessed so I'm very excited about this I'm hoping that it works I did keep the receipt I think hopefully one more here just in case it doesn't oh the whole thing moves down oh it's lighting up okay well something's happening so Hadrian has no clue what that something is but I will leave that for Zachary. So, I thought I was missing a piece. Seems like everything is there. That's good. Um, they actually have Thanksgiving break right now, so this is actually going to be a great activity for them to try out. Okay, up next. Oh, this is really cool. Okay, this is a um, CB2 glass face. I th just thought it was really pretty. Clear glass and has like these white polka dotty spot things and yeah I think this would just be beautiful by itself or with some nice flowers or branches inside and this was only five dollars and 99 cents and CBT stuff is expensive so especially this like a larger item like this so I was pretty happy to have found that then I also did pick up this is for Elizo he is a lover of geodes and stones and stuff and here I have this really cool geode there's like tape on it but I don't want to take it off right now I'll do it later but it's really really cool this was only six dollars and 99 cents I think yeah six ninety nine. and I feel like geodes like this are way more expensive and this is really really pretty I know he's really gonna like it he loves rocks and crystals so we definitely share that same fascination when i was his age i was obsessed with rocks i had a rock collection i had one of those i had a couple rock growing kits and i would grow rocks in our haunted basement so it was good times and this is just really cool so we can add this to our little rock collection i don't know where he wants to put it but um we'll put it somewhere okay then Let's see what's inside of here. I don't remember. Oh, I got a letter G anthropology mug because, you know, I'm trying to collect all letters and I'm pretty sure I don't have the letter G. And if I do, if I have more than one, then that's okay. Because then I want to be able to like spell out stuff, you know? Sometimes words have more than one G. Like gaggle or giggle or um, gorgeous. 
Okay, our next item. Oh, this one was cute. Okay, so I looked this one up. This is a Rifle Paper and Co. mug. And this one is like brand new. It still has like the original sticker thing on the bottom too. And it looks like it's never been used. And it just has a bunch of different types of dogs on there. It has like a gold rim and then the gold handle. Uh, this retails for like $22 or $25 or something like that. I got this for 5 bucks. I figure I'm going to like sell it for like $12 or something like that. Or $10. You still get like a deal. And I just thought it was really, really cute though. And this is also like a really great gift also. Right? Like a great gift idea. So I got that. I'm just going to put it back in the box. And then, oh, this is the other item that I got. These, I honestly, I think I thrifted these same pieces before also. But, um, I think I sold them. So, but these are Anthropology little measuring cups like little measuring teacups and they're so cute like this is a uh, one cup right here and i love that these came in like a set and this is a one third of a cup it has little feet which is so so cute and i know it's not like complete i have like stuff all over me now from the paper and then there's uh this one is a one half cup so we have a one half one third Oh, why does the one third look so sm oh, so much bigger than the one half? I think it's maybe the feet. Either way, there we go. Very cool. Um, oh, you know, I didn't even notice that they were individually priced. I thought they were all the same price. Well, it's okay, I guess. How did I not? I only looked like the one price out. Oh, you know what it is? I looked at it like this, and then I picked these up, and I was like, oh, the other two don't have prices. It's like $2.99 for all of them. Little did I know. So, it was $2.99 for the big one, and then $1.99 each for each of these little ones. So, that's like three, four, five, six, seven. It's okay. They're really cute. Whatever. Uh, so, I got these. Let's set these down right here. And I think this is, is this the last item that I got? I think this is the last item that I got from the Goodwill. And they are a pair of Zedig and Voltaire shoes. And their bags are so expensive. And I've never thrifted one of their shoes before. This was only $12.99. Look at it. So cute. It has like the snake uh, little embossed printed leather. It has like the little zigzags that dig in Voltaire, has like studs, has suede, white leather, not too much wear either. These are in pretty good shape. And these are a size 37. So they probably are a size 7. But I'll check like their sizing chart. They're not in bad shape though. They're just like a little, need a little bit of cleaning, a little TLC. But otherwise, really great shoes so i'm very excited for these i'm sure their retail is crazy i'll look it up um later but now i'll show you guys what i got from um goodwill and other places so first up this is a brand new mark jacobs wallet i got this one for 42.50 and it's beautiful. The retail on this was 375 This is a Marc Jacobs collection. So this was uh, made in Italy. And it's like, has everything. There's a Marc Jacobs dust bag in there. It still has like the little paper thing separating the pockets. It has all the Marc Jacobs paperwork. So this is a complete wallet set. Really nice. And I really like the little uh, the little zipper pull. It's fun. It has a little Marc Jacobs tag on it, too. So, black leather with gold hardware. Really nice. Also, notice behind me I have a bunch of stuff. So, these are... <laughs> this is from another haul that I just did. Uh, you have a little sneak peek on there. Then up next, this is a Claire Vivier round leather bag. I love Claire Vivier. Uh, all her stuff is... All her... Leather goods are made in Los Angeles, which is, I think is great. And just a really nice leather bag. It has a crossbody top handle. Inside is chambray. Uh, has the dust bag as well inside. This one is in like new condition. This one was $37.50. I love like this natural leather. It's like really nice. 
Like, you, you get, like, all, like, the natural, like, graining and veins and stuff. I just think it's really pretty. Okay, then up next, I have a Rag and Bone little satchel. It's a color block one. Really nice. It's gray, black, and, like, a cream white. And then the hardware is in silver and black. So, lots of different colors going on. It has feet. It's a great size. This is my... First time thrifting or getting this bag in this size. Normally, I always uh, find it um, in previous times or purchased in, like previously in the larger size. So it's nice to have like the little mini one. It's really cute. And it has a good color combo. Great for fall, great for winter, great for summer. Like honestly, this is like a good combo for all year round. And it has a crossbody strop, strop, strap, which is great. Then I have this Brahmin clutch. It's like a metallic one in like a pewter and like a blue green. And this guy was $24. This one's in great shape too. It's just, it's just open. Just like one compartment inside. Then this is a Hobo International wallet. There's a back zipper and has a turn lock. And oh, this one was from the Goodwill. Totally forgot. $4.99. Oh, you know, I have another one. Oh, no, that's not from the Goodwill. I think that's it, though. Then I have this vintage coach pouch. This one was $24 in this beautiful red color. And this one was uh, made in China, but this is the vintage. Like, this is like an older style, like when they first started making these, um, like the bags in China. And it still has like that really nice leather, but this one does have the lining and it's in red and has the creed right there and it has coach and boss right there on the front and it has a nice zipper pull this one's in great shape it looks like in really good condition then this one is so cute this is just a little coach phone bag it has a coach monogram canvas with the shooting stars as a compartment for the cell phone in the front another pocket in the back and then it has a little compartment right here with a zipper which is great and you can remove the strap and just use this as a wallet clutch also so it's very versatile you can carry this a couple different ways also the strap is adjustable then up next i have this um this is a fry oh this is all this is the other bag i was looking for this is fry I was like, wait, where'd it go? This one was uh, from the Goodwill. This one was $20. And it's a beautiful bag. I love these grommets and silver. And then just black leather. Crossbody strap is adjustable. It's a nice little crossbody. Great everyday bag. And it has, like, nice, like, accents. So it still, like, has a good pop with your outfit. So we love that. Then I have... This is another um, vintage coach piece and this is a crossbody bag in black leather and it has a little hang tag right there there's a large front pocket which is really nice and then the interior unlined this one is made in where are you made costa rica you know this one's the united states it has one zipper pocket inside of there and that's it and this one was 37.50 and this does zip across the top we love my pile back there is getting big oh i got another coach bag this one is super cute this one i got from second street it's just a little black coach um shoulder bag how adorable is that right this one is like an older style probably like early 2000s maybe but it's in really really great shape i love this little strap you can attach a crossbody to this too if you wanted or you can move this over here make it a little wristlet has little details on the side, the buckles, and has a little uh, hang tag on there. It does zip across the top, and then we got one interior pocket. And it still has a little coach care thing. And how much was this? This one was $40. Then up next, I have a Dooney and Burke. This one, brand new with tags. This was $37.50. Great, like, nutbeggy, like mustardy suede and then this brown leather so nice there's a front pocket and it zips across the top inside has a bunch of compartments it's gorgeous uh this guy retailed 198 dollars oh the color is called honey and i got this one for 37.50 crossbody strap adjustable and removable there's that oh this one was pretty cool um, this is by a brand called, um, Nanushka. 
and Nanushka bags are really expensive and I, they also make uh, apparel which is cool and I think this is one of their like more popular belt body bags in this like beautiful croc embossed leather I'm kind of obsessed like it is really really nice I think it's so cute um what to say you can wear this one like I said, around your waist or as a body bag like this. I think it looks really nice. There's a nice back pocket. And then interior. Just has one interior pocket. This one was $47.50. Uh, the resale value of this is usually around like $200 too. So great, great bag. And has brass hardware. I really like the way that they embossed. The leather and then it just says the Nushka embossed right there in the front like I don't know it's really nice like I just like the look of it I think it's really really cool been loving the body bag recently too oh this one I got from where did I get this from from second street and this is just an MZ Wallace little satchel and this one doesn't have a crossbody strap but you can attach one to the little d-rings on the top handle there's so many pockets. There's two front, one large back, and then it has like a glazed leather handle and trim. Interior has a zipper and then two open pockets and a key fob. This one's great. This is a smaller version of this bag too. Uh, I know that there's like a larger one. Uh, I actually just sold the larger one that I had of this. Um, that I, I've had that, like, yeah, I got that one from like two weeks ago, I think. Um, and that one, had the D-rings for the sides for the crossbody, but it didn't have a strap, but I just included one with it. And I hopefully I can find one that'll match this one. But really great bag. I think this one I got for $20. And MZ Wallace bags are expensive, you guys know about MZ Wallace. Their bags are really pricey. And they're really nice quality, though. The nylons that these are really good. The leather, the hardware. These bags are really fantastic. And then, oh, I got this one. This is a Crossroads one. This is a Rebecca Minkoff uh, little flap bag. And this is in a caviar leather silver hardware. This is the crossbody strap. I have it doubled up so it's a shoulder bag. We got the top handle. We have a back pocket right here. Uh, tags right here. This one was $47.50. I love this one because it kind of looks like the YSL College bag, right? Turn lock right there. There's a pocket another pocket, and then it has built-in card slots and another zipper pocket behind it. Is this a cute bag? I'm going to show this one to my mom. She might actually really like this one. It's a great everyday bag, and you can dress it up, dress it down, and with this caviar leather, it's fantastic. Okay, but then this one is, I think, the piece de resistance of today. I got this one from 2nd Street, and this is a beautiful black Gucci shoulder bag. You guys, this one is so, so good. Gold hardware. Um, it just needs, like, a good conditioning. The leather is, like, honestly, though, in pretty good shape. This is a vintage one, too, and it's really nice. The only, like, um, real wear that you see is that the hardware, where, like, the zipper hardware has kind of silvered already, but... I mean, still a great shape. The interior is nice and clean, too. There's a one zipper pocket in there and then an open pocket in there underneath or inside. And this one was only $75. So, great, great deal on this guy. The strap, too, just needs a little bit of um, a little conditioning and a little cleaning up. Otherwise, in great shape. And, yeah. That is going to round out today's um, video. I hope you guys had fun checking it out. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow by early at 7 a.m. for a new video. I do post videos every single day. The lives are twice a week. The rest of the live sales for the rest of the month should be scheduled already. Also, I am um, having people like, like you guys, like subscribers, fellow Thrift Squad members, uh, join me in the lives like once a week if you guys uh, want to uh we've had a couple people come on already as of when i'm filming this right now we've had um lady badger come on we've had ann come on and then we've had uh linda lobster come on 
so it was really really fun I'll have those videos linked if you guys want to check them out um, Lady Badger aka well, her name is Sean aka Lady Badger <laughs> I always call you guys by like your handles on YouTube. Uh, she did a what's in my bag, which was really fun. And then uh, Linda Lobster did a like a top eight favorite like items, bags, sunglasses and stuff. That was really cool. And then Anne actually did like a tour of her closet and showed us like her bags and it was really fun. And I helped her sell some stuff too. Um, so let me know if you guys want to do anything like that. It'll be really fun. Just send me an email and we'll talk from there. Alright. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!